In this video, I'm going to show you a really effective way to beat man coverage consistently out of the trip side formation. This formation also does a really good job um, at attacking zone coverage. So if you can beat man with trip side in, it's one of the best formations year in and year out. If you want to get my entire trip side in offensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. The link will be in the description for just 10 bucks. You can become a member and get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. We just dropped a brand new version of the dollar defense, kind of really emphasize some of the best adjustments that you can make and really taking dollar to the next level. So if you've not checked that out yet, the link again is down in the description. So the play that I want to talk to you about today is the play PA slot corner and why this is one of the best passing concepts year in and year out um, in Madden. Okay, so trip side in PA slot corner is the play that we're going to be taking a look at. And we're going to do something kind of interesting with this. What we're going to basically do here is we're going to kind of utilize this play essentially like this. We're going to streak our um, our slot receiver, which in this case, or our inside trips receiver, which is uh, Eric Berry. And then what I like to do is simply take Carmichael, motion him across and put him on a slant. Now you can take Walker and put him on a quick out route if you if you if you want to. Uh, but the corner route is really good when you use motion across. Um, as you can see right there, really effective for attacking man to man. Now one of the other benefits of this is most of the time in trip side in the slant post concept become uh, comes from the. Uh, from the tight end being on the post route. So they don't oftentimes drop deep blue zones over on the right side um, in that situation or like cloud flats. And so compare or combined with the fact we have the corner route as a pull route, uh, we also are going to be able to utilize this little post route over in the middle of the field. As you can see, pretty sharp cut on that post route allows it to get a consistent uh, separation against man-to-man -man coverage. So we're able to attack man in that way. And then another thing that we're able to do with this, um, again, if we're getting a lot of man coverage, another thing you could do, um, if you are getting a consistently more man than zone, put Eric Berry on an out route. And what this will do is it will just threaten the man coverage to the sideline over there. It will also help pull out zones so that we can then throw that slant in behind uh, the play, as you can see, okay? So this is a pretty solid concept um, overall against zone. Um, I did wanna spend just a quick second here on teaching this uh, from the through the lens of what if they are utilizing some cross man tactics uh, such as this right here. So let's say they did, you know, coverage that looks kind of like this, and then maybe they bracket, you know, the tight end with a third and a and a and a uh, outside third or whatever. Did something like this. Okay, so this is a pretty popular way that people are defending uh, trips tight end, and. Again, if we went with our standard setup here or strict, even strict Eric Berry, what you would see is, yes, the corner route would be taken away, but then he would clear that third and you can throw that post in behind it uh, for a pretty consistent read against man. And then you can also throw your slant on the backside of the formation. Now, how does this play do um, specifically against zone cover? Just where I really like to streak um, my inside trips receiver because it's going to help clear uh, space in the middle of the field for me to be able to throw this consistently. Uh, but what you'll see is against zone coverage, you want to highball this right in that little pocket right there. You'd be surprised, but that's pretty consistent. And again, a lot of this does depend on, um, on the user. Now, one of the cool parts about this specific post route that you get out of uh, out of PA slot corner is this post route is really sharp. And so you don't have to have a clear out route. As you can see right there, he's gonna catch it. Um, so you don't have to have like a, a deep, a deep uh, streak clearing out the zones in the middle of the field. What that allows you to do is it allows you to really threaten the flats on both sides of the field. If you wanted to put your running back out on a route, you could put him on a table route. Um, but you can really threaten the flats well with this. So you'll see here, if they're not playing hard flats, I can throw this little quick throw, quick out route to the left side of the screen. So it provides some uh, alternate uh, options, just a versatility. So now they have to shade down or they have to have hard flats. And then the beauty of that is depending on who they're using, this slant route is now gonna have a lot of space to be able to work in the middle of the field. Uh, so you'll see right here, like if I wait on this slant, I can throw it kind of right in there, and I just want to ag back to the ball to make sure that the KO um, is not able to play, is not able to play that route. 
So that's cover four. I do think cover four shade down probably defends this play the best um, because we're really kind of high low in the middle of the field here. But what you'll see is as we get to some of these other coverages, cover three, those kind of coverages, this becomes really open in the middle of the field, like really open. And so what they have to do defensively um, is they're going to have to use her this route so it would look something like this basically where they would have to use the route in the middle of the field they have to kind of know that this play um is also coming i think to, to play it as good as they possibly can and so what that does is these routes will clear out space in the middle you can always check this down right in that little pocket and then you can also hit it on the sideline over there so it's a multi-window route in terms of how it can get separation guys i want to thank you for watching this video this is how to run pa slot corner to beat man coverage out of trips tied in if you want to get my entire trips tied in offensive ebook head down to the description and go join the patreon ten dollars will get you access to everything over there all of our offensive and defensive ebooks